If your games keep stuttering and you get low FPS or FPS drops on your PC or laptop, this video is the one for you. I'm gonna show you how to boost FPS, fix stutters and FPS drops by using a free Windows optimizer to optimize your Windows PC without any BS. So let's get right into it. Before getting into the video, I just wanna make it clear that I'm not sponsored by anyone, so all of my benchmarks and the conclusion will be completely unbiased. Secondly, I never want you to buy any of these services since they're a complete waste of money and we will be using the free version and that's what you should be doing as well. So go down into the description and download the VTRL optimizer. Once you have it downloaded, you can install it just as you would install any other software and once it's installed, right click on it and run it as admin. When you run it for the first time, you will need to log in using your Discord or your Google account. You can just use a spare Google account to log in but it's really up to you. Then we will need to click on I understand and let's continue. Right off the bat, you can see my system specs. This is a pretty low end PC and that should give you a pretty good estimate of how much improvement can you expect after using this free optimizer. So let's move on to the tweaks tab. Inside of here there are a bunch of tweaks that we will be going over one by one and applying. Starting with disable background apps which is going to remove bloated windows applications from running in the background. So we're gonna turn this one on, disable maintenance as well, tune priority, adjust the default windows allocation of resources to be better optimized for maximum performance. This one I believe has to do with win32 priority so we're gonna turn this on for foreground apps. Disable for startup will make sure Sure that all of the programs are loaded into the RAM before the computer is turned off and back on again. So of course we want to turn this on. Then there's the disable telemetry, removes windows tracking and data collection and reduces resource usage. Also if we click on it, we can see that there's a warning. It disables compatibility tab, breaks steps recorder, Xbox achievements and can cause issues with Visual Studio. Since I'm not really concerned with any of that and most of those won't be a problem for you as well, what we're gonna do is simply turn this on. Optimize visual effects will just go to the advanced system settings and turn off a lot of the animations. Enable game mode and it says that it should only be for Windows 11 but since I'm using Windows 10 I'm gonna follow his guide and not enable it. Although I do recommend turning it on even on Windows 10. Disable accessibility features will turn off all the ease of access features like sticky keys and mouse keys. Optimize memory settings will improve memory management by adjusting how freed memory is handled, reducing fragmentation and enhancing performance. So of course we want to turn this on. Disable hardware acceleration. Don't apply it if you use frame generation. Since I do not use it, I'm gonna turn this on. Then disable energy savings, disable GPU power saving features to prefer optimal performance. Now I always recommend doing this through the registry file but yeah you can turn it on from here. Disable driver services, removes useless and access windows services leading to less talks for the CPU. Let's turn it on and let's see how it performs. Timer resolution only works on windows 11 but to be honest it doesn't really work on windows 11 as well. Optimize mouse, optimizes the mouse settings for better responsiveness and raw input. So from what I know it's going to basically turn off enhanced pointer precision and the acceleration one so yeah go ahead and turn it on if you haven't done that already. Disable Nvidia telemetry since I do not use an Nvidia card I'm gonna go ahead and skip this one. Disable P states once again this one is only available for Nvidia users so I'm not gonna be able to use this. Disable HDCP well it's already done but for some reason it only does that for Nvidia or maybe it wants me to upgrade to the premium I'm not really sure about that. Disable power gating and Nvidia profile inspector are once again only used by Nvidia users. Block Windows Updates. This will of course prevent Windows from installing any security updates as well so make sure that you only disable this once you have completely updated your Windows. Disable Transparency will turn off the transparency effects. Enable Compact Explorer. This one has no impact on performance whatsoever so I would just want you to keep this disabled. And the rest of these are all premium options but let's see if they are worth the premium. Disable Hibernation. Completely not. Disable Desktop and I cannot even read its full name because I need to buy premium for that for some reason but yeah most of these can easily be found for free on the internet or you can go ahead and follow these videos of mine and I show most of them there. As you can see even AMD GPU tweaks are locked behind premium which in my opinion is complete BS and you shouldn't have to pay for any of these premium tweaks because they are not premium at all. They are completely free tweaks that I have shown multiple times in my videos but yeah let's move on to the next section and that is power plan. So we can go ahead and select the desktop preset, the laptop preset or the custom preset. Since I'm on a desktop I'm gonna go ahead and set the desktop preset and then click on set power plan. The power plan has been applied successfully I'm gonna click on ok and if I go into the power options the VTRL optimized power plan is set. It says power plan set by VTRL optimizer and if I go into change plan settings um, yeah in my opinion it's just the high performance power plan with a bit of adjustments made to it so it's nothing really fancy. But yeah for laptop users go ahead and use the laptop preset. Then moving on to app booster. So here we're gonna be going ahead and adding a 
program so what i'm gonna do is click on it and it's gonna scan for games once it's done scanning we can add all of these games i'm just gonna go ahead and add fortnite and then if i click on it i can click on basic which is going to turn on all of these for some reason then there's the custom so we can set like custom options such as the custom priority class we can set it to high and the custom input output priority which on medium is fine focus mode is something that is locked behind the premium option so we're not able to use that but is it really going to make any difference well we will be able to see that at the end with all of the benchmarks then you can click on save configuration to save it i'm also gonna go ahead and add valorant inside of here and then inside of the valorant we will be doing the same so custom set this to high and that should be it click on save configuration and we can move on to focus mode but this one is of course locked behind premium but let's see what it actually claims so it has different optimization presets for gaming performance streaming and recording and maximum performance so it's going to kill browsers work apps and keeps discord music and other gaming tools in the gaming performance which i mean if you have two brain cells you would do that manually without paying streaming and recording it's going to preserve obs slash streaming tools but kills the browsers and socials which once again any person with two brain cells can do maximum performance will kill everything including discord and music whoa but yeah other than that there's pretty much nothing so this is a completely useless focus mode network tweaks of course all of these are set behind premium as well however looking at all of these and i have looked at all of these before making this video as well and all of these are the ones that i have previously shown in my network videos so if you want to save your money you can check those videos out or don't even check my video out but watch someone else's video maybe corvi's video or someone else's video and all of these settings are completely free that you can apply from there moving on to network scripts and once again it's locked behind premium and once again it's a completely useless setting let's move on to cleaner so what will this cleaner do it's going to clean the registry run device cleanup clear file explorer history cache files temp files and everything that you can do with the normal windows cleanup utility however one thing that i wouldn't recommend is cleaning the registry so make sure that you turn this one off and then run the cleaner if you want to run it the reason for disabling clean registry is because sometimes it can cause a lot of issues with the registry files that you have applied so you may have applied different optimizations in the past and then cleaning the registry can override those so just make sure to disable this and then run the cleaner if you want to then what's inside of the dbloat tab so everything that's in red is not installed on your system and everything that's on green is installed on your system so what you can do is check any of the apps that's not installed and install them if you want them but if you want to delete any of the apps that are already installed all you need to do is just click on this little dot right here and then click on uninstall selected apps now this one is of course a really useful feature especially for beginners who want to debloat their windows without messing with powerful scripts so what i would recommend is that you go through this whole list select any of the apps that you want to uninstall and then click on uninstall selected apps let's move on to the startup tab inside of here you can disable the startup apps that you don't want to start with your windows this will not only improve your boot times but also the overall performance of your windows so the ones that i'm gonna disable are the red dragon gaming mouse software discord epic games launcher adobe processes and even the adobe creative cloud other than that right client is needed for valorant lively is of course my wallpaper engine and the rest of the things are important so make sure that you only disable the ones that you know that you won't be using and yeah that's pretty much it for the optimizer so go ahead and restart your pc and i'll meet you with the benchmarks so in fortnite creative mode the average fps went from 165 to 169 nice which isn't that much of an improvement however the one percent lows actually improved by about 10 fps as you can see on screen going into an actual match the average fps remained pretty much the same hovering around 152 however the one percent lows once again saw a huge improvement going from around 60s to high 90s which did help out a lot with these stutters moving on to valorant the average fps went from 250s to around 270s while the one percent lows once again were improved a lot going from 80s to over 180s which is pretty impressive or that's what you might think you see the before benchmarks were taken on a completely unoptimized windows so if your windows is somewhat optimized you won't be seeing the same improvement as me because most of these tweaks were just basic optimizations and nothing secret or worth paying for but here's what i want you to do make sure to leave your results down in the comments along with your specs so that you can help others with similar specs as you overall i would put it into the good tier meaning i do recommend everyone should give the free version a try but do not buy the premium option however if you want to get even more performance out of your windows pc then check out this video right now